Ooh, I'm looking all kinds of crazy today. We don't mess around with the skin. Skin is queen. Today we are back with celebrity makeup brands tested, but with a twist because it's celebrity makeup artists. Many of these are celebrities in and of themselves because they've gained a lot of notoriety with who they've worked for, or in our case, what TV show they've worked with. And so I have a ton of new products to test, a bunch of new brands to test that I've never tried before. So make sure you go and check out the playlist at the end. I will link all the other celebrity related videos that we've done. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know we can kind of continue doing these. They are fun. So we're just gonna like dive right into a brand that I've never tried their products before, but I'm very excited and it is the brand Half Magic Beauty. I need to take these off because I can't can't take myself seriously right now. Oh my goodness, love these things. Pat that in, there we go, pat, 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 pat. And this brand was started, hold on, need to moisturize my face. And this was started by a makeup artist, Donnie, uh, Donnie Davy, I wanna say, maybe Davy, who is the lead makeup artist on Euphoria, so you know she's gotta have a bomb makeup collection. And so I've been sitting here the last couple of days just watching her videos because she's so adorable. I cannot stop watching them. She is so talented. And so we're gonna dive right into um, the eye look. Starting with the Chrome Addiction Eye Paint and Liner. And this is in the shade Sky Juice, which is such a pretty, almost, it looks like periwinkle. And I'm kind of bummed. Like I ordered some of the um, gems because I felt like I, I can't do a makeup look with the makeup artist brand from Euphoria without gems on my face. But they're not in the box that I ordered. Like I, I, I ordered them. Like it's on my little, my little listy thing, but um, they're not there. So I'm a little sad with that, so I apologize, but I am gonna try and do a, like a glittery look. We do have some glitter. So this is the shade right here. Like look how pretty that is. And then I noticed a lot of her videos or images or whatever is this like very defined, like wing Lewick. So we're gonna attempt something like that today. And I saw a look on our TikTok that looked like something that I could maybe attempt to recreate myself. So we're gonna try it. And we're gonna try it using another element within her collection, which is this really cool, it's called a wing magician. And it's supposed to help like make this perfect wing look. Oh, I just hit myself in the eye. Be careful. But you can basically just line it up and it'll create a wing for you, which is pretty awesome. However, I will say that the wing I'm looking at looks a little bit different, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll switch it up. First things first, brows and primer, kind of like that, which was that fast. And now to experiment with some blue. So the silicone liner guide thing can be used in a number of different ways, it seems. So you can either use it to create a very precise line. You can use it for a more graphic look. Kind of depends on what you're going for. So let's try first doing just like a, like a line. Cause what she's been doing a lot of is she extends the line way out, but very far past her brows. So I want to do something like that. And some people use a brush to apply. Some people have been using just the tip of the applicator because it is supposed to be pointed so that you can create more of a winged look. And this will dry down super matte and will not budge, apparently. So let us see what this looks like. Out of sheer curiosity. I just, now I'm just experimenting. Okay, well that looks terrible, but at least I understand how this works now. Hold on. Let's try with like the long edge here. So like something more like this. It's tricky because my eye shape, um, it, it sort of is a little bit downturned and it doesn't do a wing well. No, I don't like the, the longer side. It just it isn't as easy for me to lay it down flat. She does a really aggressive long line like this in some of her looks. I don't understand. I feel like I didn't do go down that far. <sighs> Let me try applying it with a brush this time. I'm just taking a teeny tiny itty bitty little brush and then let's try it this way. Oh, see, that's better. Okay. Ta-da. I just needed a brush apparently. Okay. That's very precise though. Very wingy. Can I do it for like the inner corner too? Because I struggle with that one. <laughs> nope, not quite. I feel like I, oh, like I almost got it though. Almost. 
Gah. Okay, let's ignore that for a second and let's see what happens if I do like a little a little swoop. I don't know. She seems to have a have a swoop. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! I'm gonna just try it on the other side because I'm taking this all off anyway and trying again. Isn't that what this is here for? Experimenting. Alright, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I mean, that's kind of graphic-y, right? Okay, okay. I kind of get the hang of it. Let me, let me do something. Okay, <laughs> I have some thoughts experimenting a little today. So this tool is not for me, unfortunately. I really like it as a concept and I've been experimenting to try and get it to work, but I think just the, I have a little bit of like a heavier um, flap above my lid and I think just kind of pressing it in, trying to get that precise line, it just wasn't working really well for me. I need something taped down to really get that precision. But the color, it's just, it's really pretty. So excited about that, but now let's add some sparkle. This is the glitter pill and I am so excited about this. I have here a microcosm. It looks almost clear with like rainbow glitter. I don't know. Okay, let's put some on. I just wanna see what, I just wanna see what it looks like first. Also worth noting, it is ophthalmologist tested in case you're sensitive. Ooh, glitter. Okay, so this one is like a clear base and it has a lot of glitter in it. So I wanted to apply it sort of to my lid area. <laughs> you can see what I mean, like look at that, look at that chunk. I didn't even notice that until now. Ah, well, I'll fix it later. I wanted to take this and just sort of put it all over my lid. Like just make it very sparkly, but just like an iridescent sparkle. You can also just apply this over top of the, the matte shade. You can do all sorts of stuff, but I felt like doing just a ton of sparkle just for funsies i'm curious if this has any sort of a fallout but like it is really nice i don't know if my lights are gonna pick up on it maybe we'll do like a like a flash you know <laughs> fix this gap here you got a gap too there buddy all right more glitter i mean i guess i could just like brush it on too i just thought i might get more of a nice smattering of glitter if I use my fingertips. It's just so shiny. <laughs> this is how I want to wear glitter in my life, you know? Oh, that's so fun. It's less of that intense chrome paint with glitter in it, like a very classic 2016, 2018 kind of look. It's more this beautiful sheer wash of sparkles. So I'm really excited. But now I want to switch gears to another brand that I have never tried before, though I have tried the owner's original brand, and that is Jones Road Beauty, which is by Bobbi Brown. This is a relatively new launch for her. She had to wait a significant period of time just due to contracts and everything because the brand Bobbi Brown with her name on it still exists. She's just not like a part of it anymore is my understanding. But she started Jones Road, and Jones Road has a bunch of products that are all around creating a very effortless kind of a vibe, just you, but enhanced is the look I'm kind of getting from this. I feel like Half Magic and Jones Road are very different brands. So I'm kind of excited to incorporate them, like fuse them together for one look. It'll be kind of a challenge, it'll be fun. So we're gonna start with the mascara. It is literally called the mascara. She has a couple of products that have that sort of the blank, the eyeliner, the eyebrow pencil, like it's, the product, the go-to, the product that's gonna have it all. Let's curl the lashes. And then the mascara. This is very just standard black tubing. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot going with the packaging right now, which is interesting. It's more of a, that's a weird shape. I just thought it would be like a classic one, but it's like, and it's mildly helix formed, I wanna say. Interesting. It's well reviewed, so I'm kind of excited. Whoa, do you see that length? Is that just me? That looks very lengthy and like fluttery. I don't know how to explain this. My lashes look wispy in the best way possible. Honestly, I'm adding another coat, but I actually think I liked it better with just one coat. Like they require a little bit of recurling, but that's, I, I kind of like this. Of course I got some mascara right next 
the liner. Okay, now let's go into the face and we're gonna start with Jones Road and we are gonna start with the Miracle Balm. This is Au Naturel and it's like a moisturizing, luminous balm. It's going to add, again, that moisture, that dewy kind of a look. You can use it on your own or you can use it with makeup. And we're starting with, this is their Miracle Balm. I got Au Naturel. And this is a moisturizing balm. It's gonna add like a nice dewiness to the skin. It's gonna hydrate. It's just gonna prep and create this beautiful canvas. You can put makeup on top or you can just kind of keep it on its own. So I'm gonna take a little bit, it's very like, it's a hard balm. I'm gonna warm up a bit. You can get a separate um, spatula if you want. I kind of wish it had come with one. Like there are cleansing balms and they come with a little spatula. I just, I don't see why you couldn't with this as well. That's just me. And then we're just going to add this to the skin. Ooh, it has a kind of herbally scent to it like a fresh herbal Ooh, it feels really nice on the skin it's giving a very nice dewiness i didn't use too much either this is very hydrating this is very oily if you have oily skin i don't think you'd like this i did not put a ton on i just use a little bit but if you want a nice dewiness to your skin without adding any sort of a tint it is really pretty but now we're going to go on to the product that has probably received the most drama around it and that is their wtf what the foundation i don't know if you've seen this going around but essentially she launched this product which looks kind of like uh like this <laughs> Look at that, that looks disgusting. But she launched this as sort of a moisturizing, light, medium coverage, tint type of a thing. And somebody had used this product in the way that they would normally use a foundation. So they took a ton, they put it all over their face and they were like, this isn't working for me. And so Bobbi Brown responded uh, and did sort of a tutorial saying, oh, I only use a tiny little bit. And then I kind of put it all over my skin just to add a bit of a tint. Um, she went a little bit further. She was just trying to, I think, laugh about the situation, but maybe it was more of like a marketing play to kind of get a little bit more hype around the brand and around that particular product. So anyway, I went to the website to kind of see how it's intended to be used. I do my best to try and research all of these things in advance or kind of go through this kind of ongoing with you guys to kind of figure out each product and try and respect the way that it was intended to be used. However, when I went to the website and I went to how to use, it says specifically to scoop out the uh, desired amount of WTF, desired amount. No, use a small amount, a little goes a long way, et cetera, et cetera. None of that. So in the case of the content creator, she may have gone to the website, she may not have, and seen, use the amount that you want, put it all over your skin. I think that that needs to change. If it's supposed to be a small amount, a little goes a long way, that should be said on the website. I think that that's where people go to get more information if something isn't working for them or they wanna make sure that they're using it the correct way. So that's just my two cents on this. Um, I do also, again, think that a scoop would be nice included in this. So in terms of the formula, I wanna show you guys, hopefully you can see, but it does have some, I think it's, did it just drip? Just dripped all over my headphones. Oh, so this is what the product looks like. You can see it is quite oily and there's like oil pools in the product. It doesn't say anywhere to like mix this. I feel like I should mix it. <laughs> my hands are covered in oil. Oh, this is so messy. Okay, so I'm gonna go based off of the tutorial I saw of um, Bobbi Brown using this product and sort of rubbing it in and sort of applying a little bit all over and this is supposed to just blur everything out add a nice sheen and like a teeny tiny bit of coverage i'm probably using more here than i think she did i'm just i'm i'm doing my best so it says light to medium coverage i don't think this is something that is intended to be um layered or like buildable. I think the packaging needs a lot of work. I think that having sort of like a, an air-free pump would be a really, really good idea for this. Honestly, I think my skin looks really good. I can't explain it. It doesn't look like I have anything on my skin, but I think it's about setting expectations, right? Like I think that 
Both of these products are really good. I don't know if I'd like pair them together again, but I will absolutely use these products again because I want that hydrated, dewy, plump skin. But I don't think that's everyone's thing, which I mean, it shouldn't be. Not every product is for everyone. But I personally, I like it. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer. I don't wanna add too much. This feels like too much. Cause then I wanna go on to, I have makeup by Mario. They have a new launch, a relatively new launch. I wanna use that, but I think before I do that, I wanna use the, um, the Jones Row blush first. I think that'll be really pretty. This, by the way, is one of my favorite concealers. It's the Luminous Silk Concealer by Armani. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Just brightens every time. Felt like it would be a really good fit for this foundation look. Oh, lost an earring. There we go. Okay, so this is the Miracle Balm blush. I have the shade Flushed here. So I'm going to, again, it is a very hard balm. I'm going to work that into the skin. This is a very, very soft blush. I think that I'm layering too many like glossy products on top of each other though. Like I feel like I need to powder a little bit. So I put a little bit on the lips. It's not super pigmented. Again, that's not their whole vibe. It's not my favorite product. I think I prefer the foundation and the balm and the mascara. The mascara is really pretty. Okay, now to set, we have a two-step system by Makeup by Mario. He created the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector and Enhancer. So starting with the Skin Enhancer, this is light medium. This is supposed to be applied all over the face as sort of like an instant tinted perfector, which I know I just did with the Jones Road, but this one you're supposed to apply around the perimeter of your face and work in. So I'm kind of curious what this looks like. It is supposed to, by the way, look a lot darker in pan than it will look on your face. I'm going to dab in my brush here. And I noticed he just sort of wiped it around the perimeter and then like blended it in. And this is going to give like a really soft, like bronzed effect, like warmth to your skin. Yeah, this is very bronzing for me, which I mean, like I'm not mad at it. I think it's a good, like it's a really pretty color. I don't think I would apply this all over my skin though. I feel like that looks really pretty. Again, I'm very, very glowy right now. Then I'm just gonna add a little smidge more of the blush. Not the blush, I'm gonna add a blush. This is actually nude sticks. I feel like I want a little bit more color on the cheeks just to kind of mesh with the eyes. All right, kind of like that. And now the second step is the Skin Perfector. This is a powder, it's a setting powder. It has powder, highlight, bronzer. You swirl it all together and it just makes your skin look like magically blurred. So I'm excited. So we're just going to swirl our brush in. I'm gonna tap off any excess. I'm gonna start with the outside of my face cause I'm just wondering if this is gonna look really bronzy for me. Maybe I need it to be light. <laughs> I think it would probably choose a lighter shade, but it is really pretty for setting or like a like a bronzer, but I, I will need an actual powder for this. So let me just set this. Okay, there we go. Now we got more glow and less oily because now we're gonna go into a new product by Half Magic and this is their lip products. So we have the two-in-one lip liner as well as the mouth cloud. And so she created a like a duo system. So you could either do like a really out there, really cool purples and blues and things like that kind of a look. And she's paired colors together that would complement each other. Or you could do something super neutral and natural. So she's done a bunch of different options. So I want to try a natural one, but I want to swatch a fun one. And only because I have to go to Cairo today. Gotta crack that back, you know? So I'm gonna swatch this one, which is honestly, yes, and don't be confused with Angel Rave. So you have two different liners, so you can kind of blend or mix them together or create sort of like a blended kind of a look. Ooh, it's kind of going purpley, all right. I don't know why I expected anything other than that. And then Angel Rave goes on top or in the center or however you want to put it, but I just wanted to show you these three shades together. 
that's so pretty. It's not something that I would immediately reach for myself in terms of like a combination, but I understand it. That to me screams Coachella and I love it. But me, I'm gonna go safe and basic. This is hot potato and ballerino. So I'm adding a little bit of the darker shade around the outside. So I want it to be more defined. And I added the lighter color to the middle. And now I'm gonna add in Mr. Cheeky Pants. <laughs> Ooh, this shade is right up my alley. Ooh, it's so soft. I like to pat over it with my fingertip. More of a like lived in look. That's so nice. Okay, and now I wanna add in a little bit more of the darker shade. Hot potato. Okay, that's so fun. That is really fun and I really like this formula. Plus the color, like 10 out of 10. I feel like I want more blush though. Actually adding the dupe from last week's video. Link it if you missed it. Got that same sort of like peachy vibe as the lip. Okay, now we're gonna set it and we are using the Half Magic Dew Lock Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist. This is loaded with hydration, it says, as if my skin isn't already very hydrated. It has glycerin, niacinamide, and it's supposed to help lock in makeup for 12 hours. I like to pat over afterwards myself personally. So now I'm gonna go about the rest of my day, maybe put this up in a ponytail, and we'll see tonight how everything looks. All right guys, this is what the makeup is looking like. I have to say the blue has stayed put very well. Like my two year old was like rubbing on it and like blue. It's like, yeah buddy, I know. I think my face makeup still looks Good, it's a little on the oily side, but I don't mind that personally. The lip is no longer here. Ooh, I didn't even look at the sparkle. Do we still see sparkle? The sparkle gone? I'm gonna film some video footage with flash or, ooh, maybe, hold on. Can I just turn on my flash here? Hang on. Hang on. Okay, do we see any sparkle at all? Any, anything at all? Anything? It's giving like a really nice <laughs> glow though. Wow, flash coming through. Okay. Overall, I feel like this was successful. There are a couple of products that I'm going to play around with in terms of layering and, and how I really like them. The only one I, that didn't really like vibe with me is the Jones Road blush, but I think it's just honestly because I like a really strong blush. Let me know in the comments if there are other celebrity makeup artist brands that you want me to test out next and check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any of the other celebrity videos that we have done. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys all next week. Mwah!